Hello everyone. Today we'll see exercise 8.1 question number 11. State whether the following statements are true or false. Justify your answer. Look at the first one. The value of tan A is always less than 1. They are saying. So first let us draw one right angle triangle here. Just see this one and we'll name it as A B and C. Here this B is the uh, 90 degree. Okay. Now I will just write down the Pythagorean triplet on this right angle triangle so that the picture will be little more clearer. Okay, so this side I will name it as four units, and then this is three units, and the hypotenuse is five units. Now they are talking about tan A. Look at this tan A. Tan means what? Opposite side by the adjacent side. So it comes as four by three. And when you do the division of this one, you get answer one point three three, and so on. Correct. Now this value is greater than one. So whatever they said in the statement, that tan A is always less than one, which is wrong. So there is a possibility that at some time tan A will be more than one. Correct. So the first statement is wrong. Now come to the second statement here. Now in the second statement, what they said, sec A which is equal to twelve by five. Sec means what here? Sec means hypotenuse by the adjacent side. So I'll write it down in this triangle. Hypotenuse is twelve. An adjacent side is five for this angle A. Correct. Now hypotenuse is longer than this side, so that is true. So the second statement is the correct one. Okay. Now come to the third one here. They said cos A is the abbreviation used for the cosecant of the angle A. Is that right? No. Cos A is the abbreviation for cosine A, not for cosecant. So what you will write down? The given statement is false, and the justification is what? Cos A is abbreviation of cosine of angle A. Okay, come to the fourth one now. They said cot A is the product of cot and A. No, cot itself doesn't have any value without the angle, right? If you write down cot A, it means that uh, adjacent side of angle A divided by the opposite side of angle. A. What you will write down in the answer? Cot itself doesn't have any value, right? Without the angle, so cot A has the value. What is that? I said adjacent side of angle A divided by the opposite side of angle A is the justification. Okay. Now come to the fifth one, sine theta, which is equal to four by three. So we'll name one angle as theta. Suppose this angle is theta. Sine means what? Opposite by hypotenuse. So this is the opposite, and this is the up hypotenuse. Now you only see here, hypotenuse is smaller than the opposite side. Is that possible? No, because hypotenuse is the longest side in the triangle. So whatever the value they have given, that's a wrong value, which is not possible. Sine theta is always smaller than one, not the bigger one. Okay, bigger than one. I hope all of you understood this justification and true and false. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.